effort to support the cause and coming so far. My special thanks to Dr. Jay Prakash Garu and Jansi Reddy Garu. And uh, Harchandran Garu is supposed to come, but because of some commitments, she couldn't come. But she sent her message across to us. Today, we joined here to honor three women warriors who cross the most challenging upheaval of life by conquering the big C. I do not prefer to use the word cancer survivor, but rather I prefer to use the word warrior. That's because of the tremendous emotional and physical turmoil they undergo from the time of diagnosis to the end of treatment. It's not about the individual, it's not only the individual who is affected, but the entire family and friends who undergo the turmoil. And as a doctor, we are the live witness of it, what, what all they undergo. That's why I always call, call them women warriors rather than survivors. In fact, there will be many cancer survivors whom we know and around us. But most of them don't come forward to share their experiences and uh, success stories. We often see celebrities talking about their journey, their journey through the treatment, their journey through the cancer, their ups and downs, success stories. But mark my words, as a doctor, every survivor is a celebrity for us. Remember these words, people think only celebrities are celebrities. No, every survivor is a celebrity for us. Many more success stories, this is the beginning. We want to be part of many, many more success stories. So with this vision, we initiated our foundation with the purpose of creating more awareness for cancer patients and early detection of common cancers. Our foundation has checked out a road map through which we can reach out to the vulnerable population through extensive cancer awareness programs, cancer screening programs, reaching out to the masses, addressing the stigma. stigma diagnosis is a big stigma. Coming out, a doc, reaching out to a doctor, going for diagnosis is a big stigma. So addressing the stigmas and offering the support wherever they need. And we're also acquiring latest equipment for breast cancer and oral cancer screening. Most of you have been part of my journey for many years. And as I embark on this journey, many like-minded organizations and individuals join hands with me. And it's not enough how many people with us. We need more and more people, more and more hands are needed in this journey. There are many distinguished people in this crowd, in this gathering. People from different sectors, government sector, business, IT, healthcare industry, education field. And of course, I can't forget the glamour of film and fashion industry. And I thank every one of you for being here. And I take this opportunity to call upon everyone to join the cause and help us in whatever way you can help us to help her. That is the theme which we are going forward. And I thank every one of you for being here. And especially J. Prakash Garu and Jansi Garu take, for taking time for us. 
Thank you, everyone. First of all, it's so overwhelming to see so many of you here. It's looking like an ocean of humankind here who have been so kind enough to spare their valuable time to celebrate this extraordinary moment with the women champions. And once again, a great applause to Dr. Malik to have brought all this together. So all the dignitaries on the desk, Dr. Malik Singraju, the founder of uh, Singraju Cancer Foundation, the women champions, Rajeshwari Garu, Shipra Garu, and Narchana Garu, who have graced this event, and all the distinguished guests of this evening, greetings to you all, beautiful audience. Two years ago, I met uh, Dr. Malik in a, in, a, in a different situation. I was on the ICU bed, and when I opened my eyes, he was in front of me, and that was when I uh, had a severe, massive uh, heart attack. So that was my first meeting with Dr. Malik. And later on, uh, after a couple of months, uh, when I recovered and all that, then he invited our entire team of uh, Life of Three movie to a pink walk at the KBR uh, park. And that's how we started, you know, uh, becoming good friends. And then uh, he shared uh, his entire vision and dream about the Singraju Cancer Foundation. And then we were sitting, we spent a lot of uh, time trying to put things together to go about with the objectives, to strengthen the objectives of the, uh, of the foundation. And uh, especially, uh, social work is an unending mission. I have uh, associated myself with uh, various social organizations in the past. And uh, how much ever we do, or how many ever people come together, whatever the kind of resources we put in, it's, it's not enough. So there's so many times we face challenges when we're trying to do something good. And overcoming them is very, very important because we are talking about saving lives here. The sole purpose of today's initiative is to celebrate the happiness of these incredible women who have crossed the mountains and oceans, emotional turmoil, along with their families. And uh, today we are able to celebrate this happy moment with them. And we are, we are honored. Their very presence has filled the place with the spirit of life, a spirit that has been transmitted and that has to transmit to every cancer-affected patient in the world. Happiness that every cancer patient should deserve. So let us all unite and take an oath that we shall all and must post at least one, one social media post. Here, I am able to see almost 100 plus people here gathered here. Social media today, the digital medium is so powerful that even one post by one of the celebrity here about the awareness on women who are facing cancers like breast cancer and cervical cancer can sensitize someone across the cross section of the country and maybe someone will go for an early detection and maybe we will be able to save a life. Are you all ready for that? Yes. Thank you so much because I, I didn't hear, I just heard uh, three yes, because I'm a very good sound person, so I know exactly where the sound has come from. It has not come from here, it has not come from the middle, it just came from here. So can I hear it from all, all over? We have 100 people. Will you all post on the social media about today, about the women champions, about the requirement of every individual feeling the importance of being a part of someone's life, success, and their journey? Yes. yes. Yeah, that's better, but still not enough. <laughs> As I told you, social work is an unending mission, and uh, I'm sure we'll all achieve our goals. So to start with, myself, my daughter, Aishwarya Krishnapriya, and I, along with our group of friends, Mr. Vishwanathan, Anirudh, Mayur, and uh, uh, the entire team, we have all joined the cancer support group the S of the SEF, that is the Singraju Cancer Foundation, and pledge our services to humanity. And I am sure that most of you would come forward to be a part in some form or the other, uh, as a volunteer or maybe as another stakeholder of this organization, and strengthen the vision of Dr. Malik, so that here we are today. We are celebrating three women champions. Why can't we make it 300, 3,000, 3 lakhs, and more? 
thank you that we have some esteemed people of our city here today with us. And firstly, let, let me thank uh, all of you for sparing your invaluable time with us. And I especially thank our guests of honor, Sri Jay Prakash Narayan Garu, for giving such, uh, I mean, his speech was full of facts, figures. I mean, I don't know how he remembers so many things. I mean, he was talking about Britain, he was talking about US, and all the statistics, and what, what is our prime responsibility today to make India a healthy country. I mean, it was really a very inspiring speech, uh, Jay Prakash Garu. Thank you so much. And then we have uh, Jansi Reddy Garu, who is already a philanthropist, and they have done so much in US and, and especially in India. And thank you for your valuable time, ma'am, for coming here and giving an inspiring speech to all of us. So thank you for gracing this occasion. And then I would like to thank Rajeshwari Subramaniam Garu and her family, Shipra Krishna Garu and her family, Archana Garu and her family for joining and sharing their messages with the world. Here we have the press and media, is the most powerful medium today. And this message carrying to as many people as possible is only possible by the press and media friends. Thank you, press and media, for coming in large numbers and making this a successful event. Then I take this opportunity to thank the host and the founder of Singraju Cancer Foundation, who has today motivated and inspired all of us here by showing us that cancer can be fought and won. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Then all the volunteers of SCF, the program host Usha, the musicians duo, the entire production team of this event, the press and media, everyone, once again, thank you. And the beautiful audience has supported and infused new hope and vigor because the numbers of so many people uh, coming here for this cause is so inspiring. And I once again thank everyone who made this possible. Thank you. Please enjoy the music and interact with each other. Thank you.